Hey guys, so this video is about the new spiral tool we have in Affinity Designer version 2.3 and with which you can create awesome shapes in no time. Some examples you can see right here and we are going to a clean artboard so we can showcase this tool and you're finding the spiral tool in the tools bar right here underneath rectangle and ellipse tool right here where you also have all of the other shape tools you can click on this little triangle and then at the bottom you find spiral tool and after selecting once it will be displayed right here for quick select so we can now quick select it of course if we change our tool right here and um, the um, new tool will be um, displayed for quick select but just that you know after selecting once you have it for quick select till you change this shape tool right here and now we can simply create we don't need to hold down shift for perfect pro proportions or anything like this because with this tool we always have automatically perfect proportions so a perfect circle no ellipse because otherwise you won't have this cool spiral look um, which should be um, symmetrical and now we can go with the filling first and give it a color white for example because it's um, um, different the look is different if we are using filling or stroke so we are starting with filling we can now move this in the middle for example we have snapping activated so we can find the middle like this snapping right here and then we need to use the context toolbar right here with the tool selected to simply adjust our spiral look we first have the possibility to um, change the direction so clockwise or anti-clockwise simply by clicking we can also click right here to make it as a square or click again to have it back as a circle we can change our turns like this or we can change right here look at the middle the angle like this we are keeping it at zero we can also change this angle right here to create this formation with 360 degrees or 90 or zero is the basic so we're going with 90 and we also have the possibility to adjust the inner radius so it looks like this then also looking really cool but we want it at 0% for now. And we also have some different styles we can use, um, which are really interesting. I also like Fibonacci and Blotted, like here. Um, I would recommend simply testing out some of those um, styles, some of those settings, so you can see what you can do with this um, new tool. Right here, we're going to linear back. And now I also want to show you um, how it looks with um, with a stroke instead of a filling color so we are selecting it right here by the way if you like my videos i can recommend you my affinity designer 2 complete course with more than eight hours of 4k video content and here are some impressions and this course is regularly updated and you find all of the information again as well as the link and a 20% discount code um, down in this video description. So make sure to check this course out. And we are going right here, clicking transparent for the filling, selecting the stroke, clicking white. And as you can see, we now have our typical stroke as we know it from all of the other shapes. And we can go to the stroke settings, adjust, for example, the caps. As you can see, we adjust, can adjust the width um, by going right here or simply typing in, for example, 10. We also have the possibility to choose a dashed line or a brush, which uh, we can do with this feature right here. And that's it with the stroke. I will also show you some of those styles with the stroke. So, for example, as a square, anti-clockwise and some of those Fibonacci also looks really cool with the stroke setting and like already said best way is to simply test it a little bit so you can see what you can do with this new tool and what is also really important to know and that's why I'm also showing it to you in this video is if you want to work with strokes as a curve so want to combine them with other curves want to adjust it with the no tool and so on you first need your final shape as you want to work with it and then 
um, as it currently is only a stroke you need to go right here to layer and go expand stroke right here to have made a stroke the stroke to a curve and you can now work with it by combining with other um, shapes for example with the boolean operations or with the shape builder and so on but that's important otherwise it won't work for the filling it um, works automatically but for the stroke not that's why i'm saying this and you can also see the difference when going to the node tool right here it now looks like this so we have now a new shape with a filling instead of a stroke we had before which is but is the same look and we can now delete this one right here selecting a backspace and that's going to do for, for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also make sure to check out um, my course down in the description as well as the discount code you found find right there and hopefully see you in the next video and bye